to fix the error uh, first of all if you're using windows security open windows security so open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in steam go to steam location if you have the game installed in ea games so in my case it's ea games c drive program files ea games and then you can open the game folder select all the exe file over here including this ea anti-cheat game service launcher and then again browse all apps select fc26 exe file again browse all apps select this add all the exe file over here and then again browse all apps open this installer ea anti-cheat select this exe file click on open and do the same thing in control panel so windows firewall so open control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then add all the exe file select this one add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app like browse all of files and then select fc26 click on add again click on allow another app click on browse select all the exe file again do the same thing with e anti cheat installer now you can launch the game and then check now if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, you have to add all the game exe file to your antivirus program. Still not working, rename settings folder. Now when you rename the settings folder, all the saved settings will be lost. So you can create a backup first. So open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, users folder, your username folder, app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder here you can see sports fc26 open this folder here you can see settings make a right click and then click on read create a backup first if you want to create a backup just create a backup once you have a backup created now you can make a right click and then you can rename it and once you rename it now you can launch the game if that does not work rename the complete F EA Sports FC 26. When you do so, all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. So for this, go to the same location, this one, this location, and then copy the, create a backup. Copy this folder, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can rename this. The game will start from scratch. So create a backup. Once you rename it, launch the game and then check. You already have a backup. So whenever you want the save game files, you can just copy and you know paste it over here. Now, if you don't have FC26, EA Sports FC26 folder in the uh, in this location, in that case, uh, you, if you have any uh, friends who can uh, give you this folder or you can get it from another computer where the game is installed and then you can check. Now, if you have uh, OneDrive or Google Drive open, sometimes it's open and it's hidden over here. You can try closing the OneDrive or Google Drive. If you're using OneDrive, make sure that you're logged in. So you can close these application. Make sure your Windows username does not have any special character. So sometimes this is also the cause of the problem. So make sure your Windows does not have any special character. Next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, if you have the game on EA app, manage, and then click on view properties, and then click on open folder. And this will take you to the game installation folder if you have the game on Steam. I don't have the game on Steam. Uh, ma manage browse local files. Uh, once you are in the game installation folder, try to launch the game as an administrator. So you will see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game, and then check. You can even try to launch the game using this EA Anti-Cheat Game Service Launcher. Make a right click and then run, run as administrator and then check. Still not working. Make sure that you're logged in as an administrator to your Windows computer. And if that does not work, uh, you can create uh, a new 
local account, new admin account. So you can open Windows settings and then go to accounts over here and then scroll down, click on other users and then click on add account. And over here, click on I don't have this person's sign in information. Click on it. And then click on add a user without a Microsoft account. And then you can name it, create a username if you want. Create a username, you can name it whatever you want. This is just an example. If you want a password, you can enter the password. If you don't want it, leave it blank. Click on next. And once the account is created, click on it. And then click on change account type. And then you can set it as an administrator. Click on OK. And then you, have, you can log out. Log. And then you have to log in with this account the new account which you've created. Log into this account and then you have to install the game once again and then you have to check. Next step is to verify or repair the game files. Now if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab. I don't have the game on Steam, I'll show, I'll show you a different game. Make a right click properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is done, you can check. E-app users, you can Select the game over here, click on manage, and then you will see the repair option. Repair after the repair, launch the game, and then check. So, one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the errors. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.